All right, Exodus 13, let's call this one none, because in contrast to the ways in which we've seen God effectively work with those who are willing to accept all of his counsel, we're now going to see him counsel Israel that as they're leaving Egypt, there are some things they're going to be able to carry none of forward if they are going to move forward effectively. And in looking at that, we're going to look at the Feast of Unleavened Bread, something that Paul is going to apply to the churches of his day and something that may actually also apply to us in modern times as well but beginning in chapter 13 verse 7 god is going to say unleavened bread shall be eaten for seven days no leavened bread shall be seen with you and no leaven shall be seen with you in all your territories there is no level of leaven that is okay for them to keep around during this festival paul is going to extend it to a different situation in the church at corinth in chapter 5 when he's dealing with a young man that has actually taken his father's wife or concubine. Either way, it is a level of openness that is not okay even amongst the pagans, but they are going to, in this particular congregation, be proud of the degree to which they are accepting this relationship. Paul, in contrast, around verse six is gonna say, your boasting is not good. Do you not know that a little leaven leavens the whole lump? cleanse out the old leaven that you may be a new lump as you really are unleavened for christ our passover lamb has been sacrificed let us therefore celebrate the festival not with the old leaven the leaven of malice and evil but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth and the truth is they respun something that really was kind of strange behavior into something that was okay because it's often easier in a situation where you're uncomfortable standing up and saying no to simply put a different spin on behavior that you know in your conscience is probably and eh, no. And Paul is saying this is clearly, not probably, not okay because even the pagans don't accept this level of open relationship. And so with that, it uh, goes back to what we saw in the Feast of Unleavened Bread where God is calling them to do an honest self-evaluation of the things that he is telling them they need to leave behind so that they can effectively move forward. Make the application to us today there are times when we either individually or collectively get new opportunities and we have to honestly look at the things that god is telling us we need to leave behind and make sure that we take none of those things forward if we expect to fully prosper in new opportunities that god has given us otherwise we run the risk of repeating old habits and ruining new opportunities we used to say it this way the devil doesn't want your whole life he just wants a piece of it He'll take the rest. So maybe understand the ways in which Paul is counseling the church at Corinth and really counseling all Christians to understand the ways that even small things can grow into huge problems if they are not taken seriously. And so, so that God willing, we can all look honestly at old ways God has warned us about and avoid the temptation to allow those old ways to ruin new opportunities.